Hi everyone. So in another video I tested the Pinecone SG 1205 which is a licensed RC SSV um, from CF Moto, the Z4 Sport R I think I guess I, I, think, I hope I'm remembering it right and I promise that it will also also show the other speeds as well I will want to show the upgrades which are available from Pinecone models. So have fun. So this is the SG1205 in the original setup. In my last video I didn't actually test it on the three different speeds so I promised that I would do it in the next video. And also I was waiting for my upgrades and they are here now so let's have a look at them. So here we have the all metal CVDs. On the package it says it's from Pineo model but I think it's the same like Pinecone. And we also have full metal oil filled dampers. Let's check them out without the package. They do look and feel quite nice. Let's have a look at the dampers. Ooh, not bad, not bad at all. And they feel good as well. So let's have them installed, but first I have to figure out how. There's so many screws and I don't know where I have to do what. So I will probably have to unscrew everything to find out how to install everything. Good thing is though, most of the screws are, look the same. In this way, it's at least not such a hassle to put everything back together. But seriously, design-wise, there have been made some poor, poor choices. I mean, some of the screws are so difficult to reach, so you have to take everything apart. At least I do, because I'm not very smart, and the menu also doesn't tell me how to do it. So at this point, I can take off the side right now while making sure not to nick that cable which i assume is for the lights oh yeah uh, there's this little cap that is covering the place where you find the screws just take it off and then you can unscrew the tires like so so here are the plastic cvds which i didn't know why they actually chose to use them they should have taken the metal CVDs in the first place. So replacing everything in the back won't be such a hassle, but in the front I'm sure it will be a nightmare. So the first ones are out in the back. And let's see how they look compared to the upgrades. So I'm sorry, I didn't plan this to be a rant video or anything, but I mean the CVDs they look nice, also the shocks, they look nice, but they should have been installed for the f in the first place. I mean, it was 55 euros when I bought it, now it went up double the price for 105 euros, but without the upgrades. And working on it is such a hassle, I mean, yeah, it looks good, but 105 euros without the upgrades? Come on. And if you want to exchange anything, it is such a nightmare. Look at this. And this is not even all, everything. But I did find there was an easier way to get the hood off in the front. You just pop this up and then you will see three screws. You just unscrew them and then you can take it off and have a look inside. Ta-da! Alright, let's do this and uh, then test everything out. So the shocks do feel smoother. So now let's turn it on, radio on, car on, on, yeah, great. So at the beginning we will have a look at the three different speeds. So this is the first speed. Second speed. And the third speed. I mean, it is cold outside, so that's why it might not be as fast as in the summer, maybe. But in the end, it doesn't seem like super fast. So I will keep it for the rest of the video on the third speed, and here comes the montage. <laughs>
as you can see, the shocks are actually making a good job. So here's my suggestion to Pineco models. Give us the fully upgraded version, including a little bit stronger motor for about $70 or euros, and I will be buying it. Because look at the design, it's actually quite cool. And I love the lights and that you have uh, exchangeable parts. I love the compartment in the back. It is quite cool, but some of it has been made quite cheap. So if you can do that, give me a pro version, 75 euro, I will be buying it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.